In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a reordable list inside of Flutterflow. So let's begin, but don't forget to subscribe to this channel. So go now, hit that subscribe button and let's go. So the first thing I want you to understand is what is a list view or a reordable list view. So here I have a very simple and basic example inside of Notion. So here we have a list of uh, items and the, uh, I am using the sorting by index. So the index is increasing as you can see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? And uh, here, so the, uh, as you can see, so for each item it, it has a certain index, right? So now what will happen if I add this? So the first thing you need to understand is what we, what happened when we add a new item. So here I add G. So what do you think uh, the index will be? So there are two ways. The first way is to uh, increment the last one by one right so this is five let's increment it and we are going to have six right and the other way is to delete this and the other way is to calculate the number of things that were above this one here so we are looking for the index of this one let's calculate the things that were ab uh, the, the, that are above that one right we have one two three four five six right and we have six so we, we actually have the same result but we use different ways and we have the same results so, so my friend i wanted you to make sure you understand this concept uh, very good because you will uh, use it in uh, in flatflow and it will be also so much fun so now uh, the the the, uh, the other thing that i wanted you to actually understand is what happened when we delete something right and it is obvious so let's delete d for example and what do you think that is uh, so do you think that uh, there is something missing here so of course we have zero one two four five six so we have deleted an item that was here so we want to go to the things that were below it like e f g so they were below d so we want to decrement their their index by one so decrement that and here we want to add five right so now they are logical we get we can understand this and that is pretty much it so guys make sure you understand two things uh, what happened when we add new item to the that list if you understand that then it is good for you remember remember that we have two methods the one is to uh, increment the last i the last index or to just calculate the the total amount so uh, to be honest we are going to use the second method which is calculating the the count of this and giving it to the next index we are going to use that because this is, will make it very easier for us to reorder no matter what type of uh, uh, firebase documents we have in flutterflow and I want you to understand when what happened when actually we delete a certain uh, uh, item, right? So everything will be in this video. I want you to pay closer attention because nothing will be uh, difficult for you to understand. So without any further ado, let's move on to the next step. Uh, so in this step, we are going to actually create uh, products or so before we do that, we want to just I want you to uh, see this so we have a products collection and for each document we have name order that is very basic and now uh, what we are going to be doing is to create uh, uh, new products and put them here so this is the first step so let's create some products here so we want to first come to the actions open that up and now we can search for create documents so we want to create them inside the products so we have two fields the name should be from a very a text field that i have that i have just shown you so this is very basic check the name there and then uh so i want to close the name and now this is a tricky part so there is no way to get that but uh or unless you do something right so here we want to actually take uh so what we can wh what we can put here bro so remember what i have shown you in at the beginning of this video so here for the for any type or any uh, products or item we want to add so we are going to be using the count method so we are going to count the number of li of items in that list so if there were three items then uh, we're the, the index of the, the new one will be three right so please watch the first part again to actually recall what i have just shown you there but i will be applying that directly here so uh, what will happen here is we first need to do a backend call here we want to first so for this just for this color we want to actually know the the number of items in the products there so if we had like uh, no uh, product yet which is zero so then we 
the, f the index of the first item will be zero. If we have one uh, item, then the, the the item or the index of the next item will be one. So the same that I have. So what I have told you in the first part is gonna be applied here. Nothing nothing new for you. So just watch the first part of this video and you will understand now here. So we want to know the the count of uh, or how much items we have in the products collection. So we want to add the pro a backend. We want to query the collection of products but we don't have we don't need the list of documents neither a single document we just need the count so confirm we just need the number and that number will be used here so i will go back to uh, my action here so i will be the i will go to the order and it is very simple so i will go to this one products count and i will put it in the order right if we have three uh items then the first one will be zero one two and three will be for the next one so everything will be shown uh, and uh, every, everything I have actually explained uh, in the first part of this video so now I can close this and or uh, if you like we can we can add another action just to clear the text field so clear text fields and we only have one so let's select it and now we are actually creating new products and the thing that we can do here is to come back here to this list view and make it uh, actually get the data out of the database or from the database we can query collection products list of documents but there is something that we need to do so here we want to add an ordering so uh, uh, guys you see that this is the same thing i have explained in the first part so we want to check the order and reorder them increasingly using this field so we want to have zero one two three not one two zero four something like that we want to use this order this is what will help us reorder our items so if we don't apply this so we want to we can actually reorder them but it's not going to work trust me right so we can confirm confirm and this will be just uh this will be just the name now we actually create our, we have successfully created the items now in the next step we are going to see how we can reorder them because this is the essence of this tutorial so now let's move on to the next step so before we begin if you like this video if you find it helpful for you if it's helping you in a way so don't forget to uh, give it a thumbs up for the youtube algorithm and also if you like my content then don't forget to join the learning community by just subscribing to this channel and if you want to get notified whenever i post something new on this channel then don't forget to turn on the bell icon so we, you will not miss my upcoming content so for now let's keep going so do that and let's go right so uh what we are going to be doing here is to reorder uh these items so now nothing happened and we we can do we are just creating a uh, piece of content or adding data to our firebase but now the the goal of this tutorial is to show how you can actually make them reordable so for that a reason we want to go to the list view and obviously you want to go to the properties you can come down here and apply this so this is called the reordable feature or option right and one thing that most people will find inconvenient is that uh, so if you come here so or just to summarize it so on the web or on the browser we are going to have a certain <laughs> type of handle here to scroll or to reorder this so this is going to be on the web but they further say that uh, on a mobile device you will not see that handle and the reordable uh, feature of uh, the list, this list view will be triggered when you long press so the same you see on uh, like something like microsoft to do list you will be seeing it in your own reordable list right so now let's actually uh, so this is not enough so we need something else we want to come here and add an action which is the own reorder action this is the action that is going to be responsible for reordering our stuff here so we want to come here to reorder on reorder so we, we have selected the type of action so let's come here come to the action and search for custom action so uh, so before we uh, we even do that let me actually show you what is the custom action that i'm using here so don't worry this is not uh something that i i have made and you don't need to code right this is going to be available from the, the further documentation i will make sure to leave the link in the description down below so you will find the documentation and you will search for reorder firebase items so you will copy the code but one thing that needs to be done 
is uh, so you will have to first enter these details or arguments so and the, the only thing that you will find up, uh, uh, inconvenient is that you will fi find a uh, playlist record you will find the three times here and also here and also down below here so for me i had that problem but i had to go and rename the or replace the playlist with the, the name of my collection so you can do that to avoid any kind of problems right so again you can see the documents or the arguments from here all the index new index and the list list of documents and here is the type or the collection that we want to actually reorder so this is just a code you find it in the description down below so now for me let's come back and search for that custom action so it is called reorder firebase item this is the name uh, and uh, so for the the list that you want to reorder is the products collection come here open this one and select this option confirm right close it so for the, the old index for a variable and they will give you this by option since we have toggled on the reordable feature of the list view so we want to have this one and it is old index uh, give it old index come here the new index keep give it the new index so at this stage we have actually successfully uh, made a reordable list and uh, uh, so we can actually run a test but before that we just want to take a look at how we can delete uh, uh, so what happened when we delete a certain uh, uh, product here so if so if this this is what you need or if you need a deletion option in your in your list view so then I will be showing you how you can actually do that and if you just have a list without needing to delete it which is uh, not actually what you need to do so you will always need to allow your users to delete certain uh, items in that specific collection so if you need that i will show it to you in the next step so to be able to delete a certain type of uh, or any item that you like here so you want to need a button so which is this one so it is very simple you can come here search for delete document and just give it the index of the document that you are is or actually in so this is this is very basic but uh, we don't just need to delete that we need something else we need to go to the items that were below it and decrement their value one by one right this is the exact same thing i have done uh, in uh, the first part of this video so you can view it again if you if you need this but i just wanted to show you that i have i'm using a custom code that is called decrement orders so this will be a custom code which will scan all the items and if an item has uh, for example uh, so for let's say this was zero one two three i deleted one it will scan everything and it will say that if uh, this for example we have zero one two three so two and three are bigger than one that's why they will be decremented that is uh, so they have the index bigger than the one that we have just deleted which is one then the, these guys are going to be decremented that this is this, the exact same thing i have done in the first uh, actually uh, part so uh, this is what we are going to be doing right now and by the way i have just an error here so it is called delete order i have forgotten to add deleted order so it's not a big deal so this is what we are going to be doing now so for the delete we are going to come here and if you guys are interested in getting the custom code it will be available for my coffee page the link in the description as well so here uh, i'm going to be adding i will just run that custom code or custom action so it will run uh, and so it so this or the deleted order will just take this one the order of the one that we have just deleted and then it will update the others right so it will just it is inside the document order so give it the, that one and there is nothing to worry about except that one so now we know how to actually add items now we can know we and we learned how we ordered we reordered them in this list view now uh, we learned how we deleted them so the last step of this video is to try it so we want to see if it is working or that there is something missing in in this tutorial so let's move on to the next step and try it so guys here we are in the test mode so we, we have this error so since we are using the the sorting stuff so we just need to create our actually indexes and these indexes are going to be useful to reorder our stuff so just to copy that link that was shown there it will be linked to your own 
uh, Firebase database so it, so I'm just gonna save it and now it is uh, gonna be actually it is now in the building uh, stage so once it is built we can come back and test our app so guys that index was actually built so we can close the, the tabs of firebase now we can type for example aaa so when we can create that so it will be actually created just like that and you see so you see we, now we can take it up and down but now we can uh, actually so i have created an, an, uh, uh, something that was empty just was my mistake so you can delete it and uh, you can add pbb so we can add the uh, just keep adding some random stuff there so we can uh, uh, have experiments with them so here we have the ale so what will happen if i take it like to this to this place you see now we are actually literally we are literally making a reordable list so this i have been looking for this for a long time now it is available for you guys so here we have uh, so now uh, what is important for me is to delete this right so guys this is uh, everything you need to actually know i'm happy that you have actually been following me since the, the beginning of this video and i hope that is that this video was helpful again if you need any resources everything will be mentioned or link it in the description including this whole product if you want to get it and just experience experience with it and uh, have a lot of fun with it so it is going to be available from the description and uh, thank you so much for, for watching this video if you find it helpful don't forget to share it with your friend and your in, inside your community so we can help a lot of people learn uh, how to make a reordable list for free and that is it thank you so much for watching and uh, if you want to actually work on a project with Flutterflow, you want to build a real app then uh, uh, one of these two playlists will be very useful for you one is for to build a to-do list app and one for making a more advanced uh, chat app so uh, check one of them if you like and uh, see you there